Rebel Force Radio presents Star Wars, Star Wars Cantina. Where are you going, Master? For a drink. Sorry about the mess. You will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. <laughs> We're here at Celebration 4 in Los Angeles with Jake Lloyd, Anakin Skywalker himself. How's it going, Jake? Oh, not too bad. You enjoying yourself this weekend? Uh, yeah. Everyone's been really nice, and it's been a good trip, and really happy to be here. Anakin Skywalker uh, is just one of those great characters in American cinema that, uh, you know, evolved into one of the most iconic ones, Darth Vader. How did it feel to you, especially as, as being a young child, to be the one to start the whole thing rolling? Well, I know when I was really little, I didn't really make that whole connection so much as I really liked Darth Vader, and I found out that that had a connection, like that small connection that I was young Darth Vader, as my mom described it, described it to me, and that seemed pretty cool. <laughs> so, uh, I mean... Now it's it's really kind of odd and uh, very interesting to see the progression and how everyone treats it and what sort of respect or just meaning it has to the fans. And uh, I'm glad to have taken a part of that. Obviously, the biggest child character in the entire Star Wars saga was Anakin. How do children relate to that character and, and, and how excited are they to meet you? I, I've gotten one kid who's been jumping up and down in joy. I got one kid who cried. Um, that one was kind of odd. Uh, they were really uncomfortable for some reason. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they really dig it. And actually, that's one of the reasons why I, really, I come out here. I mean, I, I like seeing the adult fans and stuff, but I really like seeing the kids. who they, You know, their parents are fans. They show it to the kids. They get into it. They absolutely love it. And then they come in. They're like, you know, talk about pod racing. And they, they love it. And I... I it makes me happy. Do you remember what it was like when you first found out that you had landed that role? Yeah, um, I was actually a cross between the kid who was jumping up and down and the one who was crying. So uh, it was it was pretty cool, you know. And, and then the, the whole experience, they treated me so well, and it's afforded me so many different opportunities that it's it, it was it was a godsend. It was great. Did you go to see the special editions in the theaters when they came out? Yeah, we did. And it was a lot of fun. And uh, I, that was exciting, too, because like, I was in kindergarten. The films hadn't even been re-released yet. We had no clue. My mom was a big fan, and um, she actually bought them for us. And we, I dressed up as Darth Vader in kindergarten, and none of the other kids knew what I was. They thought I was some sort of weird Mortal Kombat samurai thing. And the other parents are going, oh, that's cool. And uh, I... It was just some kid with a big head and a cape. So. That's amazing. You dress up as Darth Vader. I, I wonder if Michael Keaton dressed up as Batman when he was a kid. <laughs> I don't want to guess. <laughs> and uh, working with George Lucas as, as, as a youngster must have been a really amazing experience. Uh, he, yeah, <laughs> he's a... Uh, He's really great with kids, and uh, he's he's incredibly talented. And he's a big kid himself, you know. And uh, he's he, you know, he's made a great impact on my life, and I'm really fortunate to have met him. Now he has a son that's probably close to your age. Uh, yeah, roughly. And, and do you know him? Are you guys friends? Uh, you know, we moved out of LA to to kind of cut connections as we did, just so. But um. Yeah, I mean, when I when I knew him when I was younger, we hung out. It was nice. You're in school now. Yeah. College. Uh, I'm actually graduating high school. Congratulations! I have finals when I get back. Fun. I bet you're looking forward to that. Yeah, I get done with this every day at eight, and then go back and I study, and then I go to sleep, get up, and do this again. And then I'm flying back, catching the red eye, and then studying, and then taking finals. What's your favorite class? Don't have one right now. I just want to graduate. <laughs> And uh, how do uh, your fellow classmates get along with you knowing uh, who you are and what you've accomplished? First year I was there, treated a lot like prison. Now they get along with me fine. Great, great. Well, uh, thanks for your time. Uh, a pleasure to meet you. I'm a big fan. I was a huge fan of yours um, when the films came out. Uh, I saw you um, on your Leno appearance when the film started, and I was really impressed by uh, how down-to-earth you were, and with all this attention focused on you, it must have been an awful lot of pressure for a, a little kid to go through, and uh, it looks like, man, you've come out 
you know, through it smelling like roses. <laughs> well, thanks. We, uh, we, we got really lucky, and uh, we took off while we still had the chance and uh, tried not to pull the general child star thing. And uh, I, thank you for the compliment, and I've been trying to stay that way. And, I mean, you know, you, you've really kept it down to earth. Is there any plans to get back into acting? Uh, absolutely not. Oh, you're done, huh? No, but I would like to get back into film. Okay, or oh, something behind the scenes, maybe. Yeah, there's a whole art form there that is, is losing appreciation, uh, especially the behind-the-scenes behind the stuff with, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. We tend to get people who think, I've got a camera, and I've got the Internet, I'm a director, and I'm a filmmaker, and I, I think that college, and they need to pay their due, and I just want to get back into it, man. I, I want to do that sort of thing with the education back in me, and uh, I don't know. There's so many opportunities there. Right, take it back to the art form that it should be right. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a big fan of the industry as it is. I've never really been. No one, honestly, who is, you know? And uh, I'm tired of seeing the formula films, and I think that, you know, I'll go to college. I'm still idealistic and young. Um, I, I hope I'm going to get through it and still have that idealism, but have an education back in me and, and uh, you know, change the world <laughs> so that's good man it's refreshing it's optimistic and uh, it's an honor to meet you buddy thank you meet you thanks a lot now you get to play darth vader which is pretty cool because did you like darth as a kid did you watch as a kid you're still a kid did you did you watch the i mean when you were like seven and three quarters did you watch the star wars movies did you ever want to be yeah that, it, i actually wanted to be uh Darth Vader. Oh, is that right? Yeah, did, did... because Darth Vader's the best. Hey, Jake Lloyd here, Anakin Skywalker from The Phantom Menace. Now this is podcasting. Rebel Force Radio.